After 14 months of constructing, installing, commissioning and testing, Royal Neeston Sander has delivered the hydrographic survey vessel GeoRanger to GeoPlus PV. The hydrographic survey vessel GeoRanger performed successfully her sea trials on the river EMS. In presence of the client GeoPlus, surveyors of Lloyd's Register and various commissioning engineers of Kongsberg and Dale Wijns, the capabilities of the vessel were tested thoroughly. GeoRanger can be considered as one of the best survey vessels in its class. Standards for a survey vessel get higher every year and project time frames get shorter. This means a survey vessel has to offer the highest performance and flexibility as possible. The ship was designed together with Conship International BV and will be rented out by our client to parties that perform research, such as dredging companies and companies that build and maintain offshore wind farms. The combination of an optimized hull shape, a strong DP2 capability, two high-class azimuth stern thrusters and two bow thrusters weight results in a high workability up to 2.5 meters significant wave height and four plus weeks offshore endurance. The GeoRanger uses energy in a sustainable way with respect for the environment. This means the vessel uses for example diesel slash electric propulsion for low fuel consumption, heat recovery, LED lightning and biodegradable oil. The vessel length is 41 meters, width 8.7 meters, depth 4.25 meters and can accommodate 21 people. It has installed power of 1200 AK with two azimuth thrusters of 400 kW and two bow thrusters of 200 kW powered with four diesel electric propulsion of 300 AK.